All right, in this video, I'm going to be going over the new wrapping feature um, that's included in the latest 0.2 beta version of Quilia for Grasshopper. Um, and so uh, the wrapping option is just for uh, box and service environments. Um, and you'll see that when you drag them out, you have this additional uh, wrap option that just takes in a Boolean to tell it whether or not to wrap. So when I set it to false, um, it's going to behave uh, the way it did before I calculated um, for wrapping. So you can see that when they reach the edge of an environment, they just kind of stick to it because they're just pulled back into the environment with the closest point. And so they're, in this way, they're restricted um, to the box environment. And uh, earlier I showed you how you can use the contain force to have them steer away from um, the environments. So with wrapping turned on, um, they'll actually wrap around to uh, the other side. So in this case, they'll wrap around the X, uh, wrap around the Y, um, as well as the Z um, axis of this box environment. You can keep track of this guy in blue um, to, to see, really see that. So OK, so they wrap. Um, the other thing is that uh, they'll also calculate um, who their neighbors are based on their wrapped position. So here our subject is this guy in blue uh, and if I reset the scene you'll see he's the, his neighbors are in green and um, if he gets close to so if he ever does wrap do, 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 see if we can encourage this behavior maybe with a seek, how about that? So here, if he does wrap, he's going to see that spatially he's he's close to these neighbors um, if you consider their wrapped position as well. So the, the calculation on neighbors um, also works with wrapping. Uh, additionally, forces like seek um, are going to work with wrapping as well. So here, um, the agents are going to choose the um, fastest route to get to this um, seek point. And so, in some cases, they're going to choose to go down, to go through this, uh, it's, like, it's like a portal, um, because it's actually faster for them to get to this point um, by wrapping. So, neighbors wrap, forces like seek are also going to wrap. Um, also, just want to show you, I'll keep this on, it might be useful. So, uh, let's say we had a surface environment. I just want to show you quickly um, that it works um, for service environments as well. I'm going to turn off this seek because I think it's... Alright, so here you can see our, our subject, our guys in blue, and uh, eventually someone here, this guy's going to wrap around there. So, okay, wraps, wraps for services as well. So this may not seem totally useful, it might be cool, you know, um, but as far as designs, you, you may be like, well, I don't see how I'm going to use this in my design. Um, but it actually is really useful. So say I had um, a surface like this one, right? So it's a, it's a, a, a vase shape um, and it has this connected seam, right? So it's a, it's a 2D surface, but it, it's connected along this axis. So we can see that um, before uh, implemented wrapping, what would happen is that once they got to the seam, they would not be able to get to the other side, um, and so they just kind of get stuck, right? So with wrapping turned on, now we can see that uh, they're going to wrap around this axis, and then they'll also, I think it'll, I can encourage this behavior again with a, with a seek, um, that uh, when they wrap around this axis, they will, they will continue as well. So that's also pretty useful. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about was um, how I make your life a little bit easier. Um, so, it's the best way to explain this. So, before, if I um, if I feed in, you know, my my construct polyline from their position history, uh, and they wrap. And what you'll see is that they'll get these uh, trails, right? Because their position was here, and now it's here, and it's going to draw 
a line from you know where they were to where they are now. Um, maybe you can show that one more time. Right, so that's not desirable. So what I do is I in the get position history component, and I think I will eventually add this to the, the deconstruct particle. But for now, I'm going to leave it um, because okay. So for one, the get position history component, it's going to break them up when they wrap. So here, if we look at the there's zero 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 with fourteen, and then we see zero one zero with two, and then zero one one. So that uh, 0, 1, 1 is another branch for the, um, you know, the one particle um, in the in the list. Um, so that it's saying that all right, I wrapped. So when I draw my polyline, I'm actually going to start. And I can show you this again. I'll turn off this stuff. And reset it. I'm actually going to start at my wrapped position. Um, you don't know why that's happening because what is going on actually. Oh, I turn this off. Okay, so it's actually going to start um, at the next wrap position. So here, you know, we see uh, when they go over that boundary, I actually start a new polyline, and that that also is going to work for um, wrapping in that direction. Right. So you can see here. Right. So it works. Um, now this can be a good or a bad thing. So let's say I just wanted to get the first, you know, their 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 head by getting my list item, which is what I usually do. I take the possession history, I get the first item. Um, but now we see that it's actually going to give you too many points, right? So the workaround for this is to use a path mapper component. So here I just look at the second branch. Um, so I ignore that last branch, which is showing me the wrapped positions. I'm only looking at the second branch, and so when I do that, and I try to get, and I get the position history, or I get the first item in the position history, um, then I'll get only their head, and I, and I won't get all this other stuff. All right, so that's pretty much all you have to know. Um, so uh, wrapping it works for surface and box environments. Um, it's also going to work for forces like seek. Uh, it'll also work for things like um, the sense uh, image for Brattenburg vehicles. So if you had uh, a texture map on this um, surface, uh, the Brattenburg vehicles would continue reading uh, that te that image, which is just a 2D rectangular image, right? Um, but it's going to continue reading those those positions on the other side of the image, um, so that it'll behave as expected. So the sense image is going to work with this. Um, the calculation of neighbors also. Um, you know, works with wrapping. So, hopefully, you guys have some additional uses for this. Uh, start playing around. Um, the next feature I'm going to work on is the uh, mesh environment. So, uh, be on the lookout for that in, in about a week. I'll see you in the next one.